Hey, what's going on everybody? Guiding Light here back with a new Destiny video. So today, I want to talk to you guys about some fusion rifles in Destiny. So I have been playing Destiny since about the alpha of this game. You know, I've been using snipers for quite a while, and I've also been using shotguns for a really long time as well. I used shotguns for about the first year of Destiny, and then they got kind of boring, and a lot of people started sniping, and it just became a little bit better to snipe in overall in Destiny. So I switched to snipers for a little bit. I've been running snipers for a really long time, you know, about a year, year and a half or so, almost every single day that I play Destiny. I always have a sniper on. I didn't really like shotgunning too much anymore. And so today, I figured why not go ahead and give fusion rifles a try. You know, I'm pretty decent with shotguns. I'm pretty good with snipers. But I have not really even used fusion rifles even one time in this game. You know, I use them here and there once or twice a game. And then I'll switch back to my normal guns because, you know, I just didn't really like it. So today we're going to use these fusion rifles a little bit. I'm going to show you guys just how easy they actually are to use. I was using them for about a day or so, and this is pretty much what I ended up getting. A pretty good amount of clips for this video. So it took me about a day or so to really get used to these fusion rifles. Now, if you have a fusion rifle that you haven't really tried out too much, I really tried to go for the 77 Wizard, or maybe even Saladin's Vigil. Now, Saladin's Vigil isn't exactly that easy to get. You have to get it from the Archon's Forge, and I've been grinding that for a while too, and I haven't received one yet. So all I really have are the... 77 Wizard and the Plan C. Now my 77 Wizard has Rangefinder on it, which makes this gun absolutely incredible with Rangefinder. The range on this fusion rifle is really ridiculous and you really don't even really need to worry about the range difference. Now the only thing that I didn't really like about fusion rifles and why I've never really used them is because I felt like you were always at a disadvantage because you have to charge it up and then it's not even really a guarantee that it's going to kill anyone because of the range differences and everything. Now, with this fusion rifle and with the Plan C as well, just other fusion rifles that I've really used, I thought I was at a disadvantage, but it turns out it was really more because I hadn't used fusion rifles enough. Now, it's really, really easy actually to use fusion rifles. Now, if you're a shotgunner, you might have a little bit of difficulty, you know, if you're used to rushing around a corner and immediately being able to shoot someone. And vice versa, if you're bursting shotguns, that's kind of a problem too sometimes. If you're running up against a shotgunner, they don't have to charge up their gun, and it's kind of a little difficult sometimes to really get the fusion rifle down. Now, that's where the pre-charging really comes into play. Now, that's what I really started doing today in this video, is I started learning, trying to learn how to pre-fire my gun. So I'll charge it up before I even go around a corner if I think someone's going to be there. Or I'll even start charging it up while I know someone's rushing me, just so that I can get that shot off before they shoot me. It's really a little tricky at first, but once you get used to it, pre-charging your weapon is actually pretty easy. Now, it might sound kind of weird, but I actually played on mute for a little bit. I turned my volume off for a couple games while I was running these fusion rifles, just so that I can learn how they fire. Like, when I was listening to the fusion rifle charge up, sometimes it was a little weird, and I thought it was going to fire before it did, or it would fire before I really expected it to, so I turned my volume off. That way I would really learn when the gun's going to fire. I didn't have to worry about the sounds or anything like that, and it was really throwing me off a little bit. So I decided just, hey, why not try playing on mute for a little bit, a couple of games. And that actually really did help me a lot. After a few games of playing on it with no volume, I was actually a little bit better. I really was, I really had gotten down the tactics of charging up the gun and everything, and I always knew exactly when the gun was going to fire. I didn't have any more trouble after that. So if you're having a little bit of trouble with that in regards to your fusion rifles, you may want to try doing that. You know, turn your volume off for maybe even just a game, see how you do. And it's actually a pretty easy way to get a little bit better with the fusion rifles. Now another thing that I've also tried is... I tried this on a lot of subclasses. I, I tried it out on Night Stalker, I tried it out on the Golden Gun, I tried it out on Storm Trance, and I even started tried it out on the Void class for the Warlocks as well. Now, my favorite class to run for the Fusion Rifles is definitely Shade Step. Uh, the Night Stalker class for the Hunter is definitely my favorite. Shade Stepping and just the movements of the Hunter, how you can double jump and just be... And the way you move around on the Hunter makes Fusion Rifles really easy. And that way if you do miss or if somehow your shot doesn't kill someone, it's actually pretty easy to get away or just shape step out. It's not really that big of a deal. So I do definitely like running it on the shape step the best. Now if you're new to Fusion Rivals and you're still trying to get a little bit better, guys, I would definitely suggest running the Storm Trance class on your Warlock. Now the only reason I really suggest this is because every time that you're at like mid-range and you're trying to kill someone with your Fusion Rifle and it might, maybe, may not kill them or something, you always have that Storm Trance melee to back you up. That thing is ridiculous, as a lot of you guys probably know. That melee can go for almost a farther range than some of the Fusion Rifles can even go. So that if you even end up hurting someone, you can always throw the melee at them from pretty far away, and it actually makes fusion rifles a lot more fun as well. Now in my opinion, Blink was also another great thing to run on fusion rifles, because it was kind of like Shade Step, if you missed a shot or you thought you were going to die or something, you could just blink right out of there real fast, and then you didn't have to worry about dying, you could just get another shot off. Now I do definitely like fusion rifles more than snipers, and I definitely like them more than 
uh, shotguns as well. Shotguns, I felt like, were a little too boring, and I don't know, I just didn't really like the tactics of just sitting in corners or just, like, jumping above doors and just waiting for people. I don't know. That tactic didn't really work well for me. I just didn't really have a lot of fun doing that. So that's why I like the fusion rifles. They're a lot more fun to use, and every kill that you get is just extremely satisfying because I feel like every time I get a kill, I don't even really know whether or not I'm going to kill them. I just kind of shoot. And there were even times where I was trading with palindromes, which I never even thought would be possible with a fusion rifle. So if you haven't given fusion rifles a try, or like a really fair try in Destiny, guys, with the meta the way it is right now, I would almost suggest that you guys go ahead and just maybe try it out. If you don't have 77 Wizard, you know Plan C is an incredible fusion rifle as well. The only reason I didn't use Plan C was because it took up an exotic slot, and I wanted to have the Hawkmoon to back me up, or just another primary hand cannon to back me up. Hawkmoon is another gun that I've just been using a lot lately, and it's just a lot of fun for me to use. So definitely try and take out your fusion rifles sometime soon, guys. They're just a whole lot of fun to use, and I feel like it's just something new in Destiny because I haven't really used them in so long. It's just a lot of, it's really refreshing and cool to use. So if you guys definitely did enjoy this video, if you did, be sure to drop a like down below and subscribe if you're not already for future Destiny content. Also, if you're new to the channel, I will be running some Trials of Osiris carries today. I can't really promise anything because there's no radar and no revive, so hopefully we will be able to take a few people follow us today when I do stream that. So if you definitely want to try to hang out a little bit, try to maybe even get carried this today, definitely stay tuned for the Flawless Trials of Osiris carries happening pretty soon after this video. And other than that, guys, I will see you guys there. Peace.